How's it going guys? This is Eric with the Rain Survival and today I'm on a quest. On a quest to learn more about mushrooms. So I pretty much got mm, little to no experience with mushrooms. Um, I have one book on mushrooms and it's from 1978 so I don't know how valuable the information will be but that's what I have. There's only really one mushroom I know how to positively ID. That's a moral mushroom. And uh, there's a lot of questions I have about mushrooms. And there's a lot of things I want to learn about mushrooms. So today, I'm going to ask you those questions. Huh. So we've got a bunch of mushrooms on this dead log here. And I'm not exactly sure what they are. So my random guess is going to be turkey tail. But I have no idea. Question number one to all of you watching. How much experience do you have with mushrooms? Um, first question, have you ever consumed a wild mushroom? Second question, how many mushrooms can you positively ID? I shouldn't say positively ID because some experts still misidentify certain mushrooms, but which mushrooms are you the most comfortable identifying? Uh, another question, what type of habitat, uh, what type of habitat do mushrooms like? I know Obviously really hot weather, the mushrooms are not going to be around. Right now it's fall, the beginning of September here in New England. So I'm pretty sure this is prime mushroom season. Uh, I know that mushrooms like to grow along hiking trails because they use humans to basically reproduce and spread their spore. Um, I know certain mushrooms like certain trees, but I don't know which mushrooms are which trees. That I still have to learn. Oh wait, I can ID another mushroom. Chaga! Almost forgot there was a mushroom. <laughs> Chaga grows on birch trees. Yes, birch trees, not just white birch. I've actually found it on yellow birch before. What else do I want to learn? Uh, the different terminology used when identifying mushrooms. I know there's gills. Uh, I think there's something called bruising. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I know there's... Yeah, that's pretty much all I know. I know there's the cap, obviously the head of the mushroom, the stem is obviously the, you know, the part that holds the cap. <laughs> but that's the basic knowledge that I have on mushrooms, and it's really, it's really nothing. It's pretty sad. I come on, it was all time, and I don't know about mushrooms yet. But I'm going to learn, and you're going to learn with me. That's why I made this video. That's why I create these videos. So for those of you that have experience with mushrooms, can you uh, comment below, tell me some certain terminology words that I should learn. I know, you know, gills, bruising, that's basically the basic knowledge that I have. I know there's a lot more information out there, uh, maybe information on the different families. I know if they're categorized in certain areas or certain ways, um, you know, stuff of that nature. And don't just put the Latin name, please put the common name as well because, you know, I'm just learning, so I want to learn the basic common names first, and then I'll move on to the Latin names. So I think that's all the basic questions that I have right now. Uh, if you guys are interested in learning more about mushrooms, and you're a beginner as well, and you want to get into foraging mushrooms, comment below. You know, tell me your experience level, what you want to learn, and maybe I'll make some videos about it. Because I'm here to learn, and I'm here to teach, and together we can both gain knowledge from each other. That's why I create these videos. So I actually had a fan contact me this week and uh, she's interested in learning more about mushrooms. That's basically what inspired me to make these videos. And don't be afraid to you know, check out other people's comments as well. I'm sure a lot of people have more knowledge than me in this topic and you can learn from others as well. I'm probably gonna create, if you have Facebook, and you're interested in learning more about mushrooms or you know a lot about mushrooms, uh, try to message me on Facebook. I'm going to create a group of people. This way, you know, if we all have questions, or we, we can all learn together and communicate easily. Uh, YouTube's a little bit difficult for a messaging system, so I like to use Facebook for that. But enough talking. Let's explore. <laughs> Did you see it? Did you see the mushroom? How about now? Do you see the mushroom now? Look at it! It's huge! It's huge! Let's look at it. Oh yeah, we got one! 
So I've actually been hiking for about an hour now, and I was getting a little discouraged. I'm like, where are these freaking mushrooms? Can't find them anywhere. But turned around for a second to look around. Bam, found this guy. It's actually pretty huge. It's actually bigger than my hand. So usually the first thing that I do is look at the habitat, and it's actually right next to a red oak tree. Got the oak leaves up there. You can see the red striations in the tree there. It's a red oak tree. It's literally growing right at the trunk of it. So habitat. Note the habitat. So it's got a white coloration. There's a little bit of yellow in there, a little bit of orange on the tips there. On the edge here, it looks a little brown. I don't know if that's dying right there or if that's a normal coloration. So that's the underside there. It looks a little spongy. You can see the pores. I don't think this one doesn't have any gills. So I'm going to break a piece off here. Now here's a better look at the underside. You can see all the little pores in there. Let's snap it in half here. There we go. You got like a, I guess that's an orange coloration there on the inside. So you just break a piece off and you eat it. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. So that's all the information I have on this mushroom. Right next to the red oak tree. Showed you the pores. It's as big as my hand. Showed you the color. It's actually growing right through this little branch here. <laughs> it's pretty cool. But that's the mushroom there. I have no idea what it is. I wrote down the characteristics in my notebook. Got the pictures, got the video. I'm gonna take it home, do some research and figure it out. So if you guys know what it is, comment below. Let me know. So this is gonna be the beginning stages of my uh, mushroom adventure. I'm gonna be learning um, about the edible mushrooms and the poisonous mushrooms, of course, how to identify it, the characteristics to look for, the terminology to learn, stuff of that nature. So if you have any information for me, any references, maybe books, websites, uh, people you may know, I'm from New England, if you know anybody personally, or you personally live close to New England, you wanna meet up and teach me some information, we can do that. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to catch my future mushroom adventures and my other videos. And I will see you in the next one. Yeah!